Hello viewers, welcome back. In this tutorial, we are going to learn about multi-feature linear regression. And as data set, I will be taking COVID-19 data set. So this is my data set out there. And in this exist, I have country and territories, country code, and date out there, day out there, month out there, year out there, cases out there, and lives out there. So I'll be taking day, month, year cases as features, that is X, and this as levels. So I will be performing linear regression, so it will uh, predict the date for future levels. Okay, and these columns are of no use. I will be dropping them, and I have downloaded fi the file. I will be leaving the link, and you have to make the extension of dot okay okay so let's begin let's go for the code so import pandas as pd import numpy as np so read the file df frame so data frame temporary equal to pd dot read csv Name of the file download.csv. Let's see the info out there. Dfm dot So so if you see the info out there. There is date, uh, date rev, day, month, year, cases. So I will be making the date rev as index. So set that as index. So date m set index. Leave out there date rev. Okay. Now print the just reassign this one. So now I'll be grouping my data. So group. DFM dot group by. I'll be grouping my data on the basis of countries and territories. So from the C. Okay. So I will be having my object in grouped. Now run a for loop for name and group in grouped. So let's see in name and in group. So let's see. Uh, make this comment. So you can see out there for Afghanistan, I have a data frame. For Albania, I have a data frame. And so on. For every country, I am having a data frame. Now I will be keeping only a particular country's data frame for which I want to do the analysis. Uh, let's take a country out there. I'll be doing my analysis for Italy first. So right out there, if name equal equal Italy. So right out there, Italy. Df equal be group. So I'll be taking only that group which have name Italy. Okay. Now define here go to PD dot data frame just keep this as bank one. So I have grouped my data now I want to drop particular 
columns. So which column I will be keeping? I will be keeping day, month, and year. So let's uh, print the so df dot info out here. And yeah, is fine. So you can see I have day out there, month out there, year out there, cases out there, and this out there. So I want to keep only the particular column. So df equal to df. Let's keep uh, day out there with a square bracket, another square bracket. So So right out there, month. So month and day are not PHFs, but I am doing so to demonstrate that. So year and this and this. So I will be keeping these columns in my data frame. One one. Okay. No error. So right out there, X frame. I'll be keeping my features in X frame data frame. Then so df dot drop. So I drop which one? I want to drop the levels. Okay, that is yes. Now Y frame. Here only this. So I have levels out there and features out there. Now I want to uh, divide my data set into two. So let's say I have I need two sets of data for training purpose and for the uh, testing purpose. So for uh, uh, splitting my data set, I'll be using package from sklearn. Dot model selection give out there import train test split. So I'll be uh, importing this one. So now I want to divide my data frame. So x take a train, then x test y train. Then y test. Okay, so frame test split. And as input parameter, I'll be giving x frame out there values. I'll be only giving the values out there. So y frame dot values out there. Okay, now values values. Okay. Now I want to give the size out there. What percentage of data, total data? Uh, let's say the total data is of 100, and I want to uh, give 20, uh, 75 to my train set and 25 to my test set. For that reason, I have to give the size out there of 25. That is 27, uh, 25%. Now another thing I have to do is shuffling. So for regression, the order of data is very important. For that reason, I will be giving a false out there. And another thing I have to do, let's write df dot so df dot i look give out there. So uh, basically, what my data was in the upper rows, I had the uh, future dates and in the lower uh, rows I had the past dates. For that reason I have to reverse my data set. So yeah done done done. Now I want to import my linear regression. So from sklr dot linear model Import linear regression. Okay. 
now just write out there model go to make a object of linear regression so this is my object now i want to feed the model so feed my model with x train and y train so i will be giving the test feature value oh sorry train feature value and also train level value now model dot predict so i will be predicting the predicting x test data y test data now uh, now i want to plot this data out there so just assign this one prediction for plotting data i want to import import map plot leaf dot pi plot as pn okay so i'll be plotting my data so just plot so plot uh, give out there df dot index so in the uh, x axis i will be keeping the date and in the y axis i will be keeping the uh, number of days okay so from up to length of y prediction so prediction and i will be giving the uh, y train values out there and give a level out there so level out there is uh, training train now plot so from <coughs> minus len prediction to the in and i will be giving a label out there oh, okay I, I i have to give out there y test out there so give a label out there label of that is actual so this is the actual label out there plot again plot another and i will be plotting my actual data out there uh, predicted data out there so prediction up to the end and write out their prediction and give a label out there prediction now i want to show the plot dot dot show boom and plot dot i want to show the ligand so give a location out there of one run the code oh there is a mirror uh for dropping i didn't give any exists so give out there exists of one there is another error takes two argument okay oh i only should give the future out there boom so you can see this is my prediction out there so these are the data i have fed my training set and this is my uh, actual data and this is the prediction so not bad you know, since uh, i have many features which are non related to dates and uh, if you have more and more related features then you can have better prediction so let's go for another country let's go for spain okay uh, change this name to spain and you can see this is my prediction out there so this is how we can perform linear regression for multi feature 
and this is all for this tutorial and thanks for watching